guys, it's Greg at uh, superprepper.com. Just want to do a uh, quick install video and review of this uh, Mesa Tactical uh, Sure Shot shot shell carrier. Um, it's a shotgun shell carrier to mount onto the side of your shotgun. Uh, my shotgun that I'm putting it on today is a Remington 870 Express Magnum is what this is. Um, solid uh, home defense shotgun, real basic. A lot of people use it. Um, I did a lot of extensive research on which shot shell carrier to get. I went with a Mesa Tactical one, a little bit more expensive. But what I like about it is uh, it is all all aluminum, um, so it's not plastic, um, and also it, it fully encloses the shells, which I I really like as well. If you drop the gun on it, for example, it should be just fine. I mean, it's all. It's all aluminum. It's all closed up. It's not gonna chip or break off. I don't. I, I mean, at least I don't think so. Um, and uh, so I'm gonna first things first is I'm gonna do a little. Uh, well, let me get ahead. Of, I'm not gonna ahead of myself here. Um, I am going to do this uh, while I make the video for the first time. So uh, I haven't done it ever before. I'm not an armorer, anything like that. It's uh, far from my forte. Um, so. Uh, please excuse any mistakes I make along the way. Um, if I complete the install and I had mistakes that you spot that I don't know about, please let me know. But uh, this is supposed to be pretty dummy proof. Uh, hopefully I'm not one of those dummies who can't do it. So we'll see how this goes. Um, inside, of course, we got the shot shell carrier. We got um, instructions. Uh, well, we'll talk about that in a second. This is a uh, rubber, I don't know what they call it, resistance band. Gasket, uh, basic hardware, just uh, a sticker apparently for Mesa Tactical, and that looks like that's it. So let's get rid of the packaging and the sticker. I don't need that right now. And um, so, according to the instructions, I did read through it briefly. It does say to test out the carrier to see how firmly it holds the shells. There is a um, black rubber strip in there right now. Um, if you prefer a little tighter shell hold, um, a tighter hold on the shells, you can put in this uh, light colored one which is supposed to hold the shells tighter um, than what's installed in there currently. Uh, if you take a look in here, you can see the rubber strip inside the uh, carrier. So I'm going to test these real quick. These look pretty Oh yeah, that's firm enough. These aren't going to fall anywhere. They don't fall out or anything like that. So I wouldn't want any firmer than that, to be honest. I mean, this is this is fine. Uh, if that ever wears out, I can install that one, I guess. So first things first. Um, let's get rid of these shells. Get them out of the way. I don't like working on a gun when there's ammo nearby. Let's make sure that the gun itself is empty. Just double check it. Physical check. Visual check. Yep. It's empty. All right, great. First step installation, of course, ensure the uh, firearm is unloaded. We've done that. Uh, uh, the optional second step is to apply the adhesive uh, back rubber gasket material uh, to the back of the carrier. Um, it's optional because its only purpose really is to keep you from damaging the finish on your gun. So I guess if you don't care, you can mount that directly on there without a gasket in there and uh, be on your way. I, on the other hand, do care about the finish of my gun, so I am going to apply this uh, gasket to the back here. Perfect. Hopefully that'll protect the finish of my gun. Uh, and then the uh, third step is to carefully thread all the screws together to ensure that they work smoothly. So let's just open these real fast. This is the um, hardware kit that it comes with. You have uh, two Allen wrenches, a couple Chicago screws. Chicago screws are the screws that thread together in the middle like this. Kind of looks like a pin that's been broken in the middle of threads. Couple of those. Two screws in this uh, connecting bar in between here. And a few 
washers. It's like plastic or Teflon, probably plastic washers. Um, so I'm just gonna thread them all together, check and make sure threads are good. All right, everything threaded together just fine. Threads seem okay. All right, so next uh, we it says to uh, drift out the two um, pins holding in the trigger group. Um, kind of tap them out. Uh, it suggests to tap them out from the side opposite of where I want the carrier. I want the carrier on this side right here. So we're gonna drift out or uh, tap them out from this side here. Uh, it says to use the screws to do that. Um, I don't like to use screws as a punch. So I will um, use some the tool for the job. Here's a few different size punches I have here. And we're gonna try just tapping out the trigger group pins from this side here. And they should come out fairly easily. Let me get this blank blanket here just to help raise this thing up a little bit. I'm gonna start with the with the back one here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, it's very easy. Nice and smooth. I can almost push it out now. Most, most of the way. Now I don't have a gun stand, so before you guys comment about needing a gun stand, I know I'm working on that, hopefully soon. Luckily I'm not really wrenching on this gun at all, I'm just doing some light tapping, so hopefully you guys out there on YouTube won't uh, tear me apart too bad for that. All right. So there's the rear pin. Let me go ahead and, and do the second one. So both the uh, front and the rear trigger group pins are out. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna have this uh, shot shell carrier right about right there where the two holes will go over the holes that uh, are now there because the trigger group pins are removed. So that's, we're gonna replace those pins. Um, the front one's gonna be the Chicago screw. Um, there's two different heads on here. One's called the button head, which is that one. I don't know what, to, I don't know what you call that one. Maybe someone out there can help me. But that side's definitely the button head. You gotta use the button head side of it and start that from the side opposite of the shotgun shell carrier. Um, so we're going to put it in from that side so that this is the more flush side, we'll call it. Um, so that when it's all together, it is uh, flush where the shells go through so the shells don't get hung up. So, uh, let's go ahead and give that a try. So I'm going to try and put this through the front pin here from this side. Hopefully it doesn't give me too much trouble. Let's see if a light tap will do it. See, I'm, it's not going right through. Not sure why. Let's make sure the hole's lined up. Try it again. Light tap. Nope, not going through. All right. Well, let's uh, give me a minute here and. Instead of forcing things, if this happens to you, instead of forcing things, take your time, relax a little bit, and go slower. You don't want to damage anything. Alright, so what I did was I took out the uh, trigger group here. And uh, I tried to take a close look on where this was getting hung up. Um, so the front pin is trying to go through this hole here. But, if you take a look at it, that front hole right there is not perfectly round. There is a little, it uh, looks like a retaining pin that wraps around that is causing this to hang up as it goes through. So I don't know if I can just tension that a little bit out of the way possibly. Um, let's see if it, yeah, I guess I could, I guess I could kind of push that 
retaining clip down a little bit, possibly get this through. Um, or I could, I don't know, I guess I could grind it or something like that. I hate to do that. So uh, give me a few minutes and let me research this and see what I find here. All right, guys, so it looks like that little retaining pin there um, that I was talking about, it looks like uh, I was just being too uh, careful on my own gun here. Um, it looks like just with a little tapping, that little retaining clip will flex just enough to get the pin through. Um, I think I was just being a bit of a scaredy cat with my gun here. Um, you know, I guns aren't cheap anymore, so uh, I tend to be kind of a baby when it comes to being rough with my guns, but this is a Remington 870. So let me, uh, first thing I, I do have to put the uh, washer over this, um, over the button head here. <laughs> and then, um, then I'm going to run this through. So again, it's hitting that retention ring when I start to go in. Um, but uh, I'm going to stop being so such a scaredy cat with my gun. Um, I'm going to tap a little bit harder. I put some blue tape on this, uh, this ball peen hammer just because I'm trying not to scratch up um, the pin here. But let me uh, smack it a little harder. And there, see? It goes through. That little pin will flex out of the way. So there we go. The first one's in. Okay, so for the back pin here, uh, I was just reading over the instructions. It's not very clear as far as what to do with the back pin. It says to just do it again with this piece of hardware here. Um, do the exact same thing I did in the front. However, that is not what's going to work for this gun. The reason is, I'll show you. Here's the original two pins that came out of there. One's big, one's small. The big one is on the rear, the small one's on the front. This will only work for the small one. So on the back, it's going to be loose, it's not going to work. This is what I need to use, which is in the hardware kit. This is what I need to use for the Remington 870 that I have. Um, it is the same, or roughly the same diameter as the bigger rear pin. The original, this is the original. Um, so, it's just got a screw that goes into either side of this uh, union here. So again, I'm gonna to wanna to drive that through there. Um, I think the best way to do this probably is to just get the button uh, screw side in first all the way, drive it through, and then get it from the other side. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite on here uh, just to keep everything together. Don't forget my washer. Probably should have put that on before the Loctite, but that's okay. And then um, screw in the one side here. A little hard to get the thread started while I'm holding it up for the camera. Okay. And let me just snug that down a little bit right now. I think this is probably the best way to do it. If I mess up, you all can laugh at me. Okay, I got that in. Snug anyway. So, again, here's the other end of it. Let's uh, drive that through here. Very, went through very smoothly. Alright. On the other side, per the instructions, nothing special here. Just exactly what I was thinking. I got my gasket on the back of this, just to protect the finish of my gun. One thing I did kind of mess up on is I screwed the male end, or I drove the male end of the Chicago screw in without putting Loctite on it um, first, which I should have done, but I'm just going to put Loctite in the female end. It's probably not how you're really supposed to do it. So I'll put a drop in there, kind of work it in a little bit here. Just to make sure. There we go. That's plenty in. It's not too much where it's overflowing. All right. So let's get the, f the front done here. Get that through. See if I can find that Chicago screws threads that are in there. Oh yeah, they just lined up right away. Started threading right away. Okay, I'm not gonna make it very tight yet because I wanna do the other one. Uh, here is the screw for the uh, the rear one. All 
Alright, that cinched down pretty tight. I wouldn't want to go any tighter. Let's do the back one here. Again, I'm going to hit it from both sides. Right, that, that one's pretty loose. All right. So, they're both on there. Nice and tight. Very Oh yeah, these feel very, very secure. Um, I don't see any problems with those coming out. And they're not too hard to get out either, or I wouldn't be able to use them if I needed to in a hurry. So, overall, very happy with this. Um, I will put a link to this on Amazon. Uh, please like and subscribe to my page. Um, and. Uh, You'll get some uh, great future videos that I do. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Any questions, post them in the comment. Um, I love discussion on my videos, so please feel free. Don't forget to visit me on the web, superprepper.com. Remember, no crisis is too tough.